Welcome back. We made it finally Friday here in Kansas City and a live look right now on our Bordner City camera. This is a look I-70 heading into downtown Kansas City for Jackson County commuters for this morning. No issues on the roads for this morning and actually a beautiful look of our downtown skyline from the east side of town this morning. Our temperatures across our area will be a little brisk here if you're heading out for a morning walk. If you're heading out to begin your work day over the next several hours, the majority of us will hold here in the upper 20s and lower 30s with temperatures as we're moving towards later this afternoon. I anticipate for the majority of us we are going to climb pretty close to normal for today. Highs will be back into the 50s with 52 for DeSoto, 51 for Olathe, Lee Summit, Blue Springs and Independence all in the lower 50s as we're heading towards later today. I'm excited about the weekend. The weekend looks spectacular, especially compared to the busy week of weather that we've had impactful to most of us for most of this work week. And then if you think about last weekend where it was an indoor weekend, with the rain and a few thunderstorms this weekend will be spectacular for getting outside, getting some fresh air, doing all of the outdoor practices, games, uh, heading to the farmers markets, anything here in Kansas City for Saturday and Sunday. 60 degrees for tomorrow, 64 degrees by Sunday afternoon for the next five days. We will see very dry conditions for the next three and then we'll be tracking that next storm system moving into our area by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So just an early heads up to you. We're already watching next week for this next system that's on the way. The newest update to your security bank 7 day forecast. Let me add on a little sunshine here for you with mostly sunny skies expected today. Mostly sunny skies expected again tomorrow. We will see more cloud cover across our areas. We're heading towards the second half of the weekend, but I don't think that's going to slow folks down at all in terms of being outside and enjoying the weather for the weekend. Now looking ahead to next week, we have posted already a storm track five weather alert. I have a solid 70% chance of scattered showers moving into our area on Monday. Looks like the better timeline for this rainfall will be during the afternoon, evening hours, and then carrying over into Tuesday. So we'll keep a close eye on that system. Once that passes, it looks like we will have drier conditions. So we're looking ahead towards the middle part of next week.